Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss stereochemistry of the diel sinter reaction. In this, we will first discuss the stereochemistry of the dienophile part and then exo and endo product formation and endo selectivity. Relative orientation of groups in the dienophile remains unchanged during the course of the diel sinter reaction. This means two groups which are cis in the dienophile will remain cis while those which are trans will remain trans in the diel sinter product. For example, reaction of 1,3-butadiene with cis methyl crotonate gives cis products and reaction of 1,3-butadiene with trans crotonate gives trans product. Similarly, reaction of 1,3-butadiene with malic anhydride which is a cis dienophile produces cis product. Exo and endo product and endo selectivity. Exo and endo product formation comes into existence when at least one terminus of the diene has two different groups. Let's have this hypothetical diene. I have labeled the outer group as O and the inner group as I. I have taken alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde as a dienophile. The four groups of the dienophiles are CHO, A, B and C. During the reaction, the double bond will be developing here. There are two ways in which the dienophile can orient in the transition state to form diastereomers. The diene can orient like this, where the pi bond containing group, which is CHO in this case, is directing away from the developing double bond. If we view from this side, the product will look like this. This product in which the outer group and the pi bond containing group are trans is called exo product. The another way of orientation of dienophile is like this where we can see that the electron withdrawing group is directing towards the developing double bond. If we view from this side, the product will look that, like this. This is another diastereomer in which we can see that the outer group and pi bond containing group which is CHO are cis to each other. This is called endo product. Exo product is thermodynamically more stable than endo product. Endo product is formed at faster rate than exo. So exo is thermodynamic while endo is kinetic product. This is because the transition state for endo is more stable than exo. So we get endo product as the major product. It would be easier to understand this if we go through Huckel molecular orbital diagram of the transition state of endo and exo product. Huckel molecular orbital diagram of exo transition state. In a diel celled reaction under normal electronic demand, homo of diene 
combines with the limo of dienophile. This is the homo of diene and this is the limo of dienophile. For more details about the way of making Huckel molecular orbital diagrams of different alkene and polyenes and structure of homo and lumo, please visit my previous lectures. Their links have been shared in the comment section of this lecture. After reaction, the double bond will develop here. This is CHO group away from the developing double bond. These are the primary orbital overlaps responsible for the bond formation. Huckel molecular orbital diagram of endotransition state. Just like exotransition state, this is the structure of homo of diene and this is the structure of lumo of dienophile. After reaction, the double bond will develop here. This is CHO group directing towards the developing double bond. These are the primary orbital overlaps responsible for the bond formation. This is an additional orbital interaction called secondary orbital overlap that provides additional stabilization to the endotransition state. So, endotransition state is more stable than exotransition state because of secondary orbital overlap. Let's take the example of reaction of 1-methoxy-1,3-butadiene with methyl acrylate. For our understanding, let's do arbitrary labeling of atoms participating in Diels-Elder reaction as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We already know that it would give ortho regio isomer after Diels-Elder reaction the skeleton of the product will look like this now put the atoms and groups at the respective positions at C4 and C5 there are only hydrogen atoms so put hydrogens at C4 and C5 we know that in endo product, the outer group in the diene and electron withdrawing group in the dienophile are cis to each other. So, methoxy at C1 and ester at C6 would be cis like this. Now, the remaining two hydrogens will automatically be cis to each other. You can simply draw this structure like this. This is the structure of one of the two endo enantiomers. The structure of second enantiomer will be like this. These endo products will be the major product. In exo product, methoxy and ester group will be trans to each other. So, the structure of the exoenantiomer can be like this. This will be minor products. Let's have another example in which cyclopentadiene reacts with ethyl acrylate to produce Diels adder adduct. For better understanding, Put the missing hydrogens at the termini of the diene. In this case, the outer groups in the diene are hydrogen atoms. So, diels elder reaction will give an endo product in which hydrogen and ester group will be cis. 
there will be one more endo enantiomer which can be drawn like this the structure of exo product can be drawn like this in which hydrogen and ester group will be trans to each other the another enantiomer of the exo product can be drawn like this these are the top views of the diels elder adducts if we view this endo product from the lateral side it would look like this similarly if we view the exo product from the lateral side it would look like this